This is a tutorial animation on action potentials. Action potentials consist of four stages. Resting potential. When the cell membrane is at its resting potential, a small amount of potassium ions are leaking out of the cell due to a small resting permeability to potassium, and no sodium ions are entering the cell because there is no permeability to sodium. Therefore, resting potential is close to the equilibrium potential of potassium, which is close to negative 80 millivolts. Depolarization. Depolarization is initiated by a stimulus which makes the membrane potential more positive, causing the voltage-sensitive sodium ion channels to open. So the sodium ions flow into the cell down the sodium concentration gradient, causing more depolarization. As more sodium channels open, more sodium ions enter the cell. The peak of the action potential is then close to the equilibrium value of sodium, which is about positive 55 millivolts. Repolarization and undershoot. As the membrane potential approaches maximum depolarization, the sodium ion channels begin to close and less sodium ions cross the membrane. Extra potassium ion channels slowly open and potassium ions continue to diffuse out of the cell. The potential quickly returns to the potassium equilibrium potential of negative 80 millivolts. Resting state. After potassium ion channels close, the membrane potential goes back to the resting potential. A few sodium ions have entered the cells and few potassium ions have left. They will be pumped back by the sodium pump. 